let's talk about genetic causes of hearing loss. More than half of hearing loss cases present from birth have a genetic cause. This is known as genetic hearing loss. The human ear is complex, and there are many parts that work together to help us hear. There are hundreds of genes that help these parts of the ear develop and function. And when one gene doesn't contain the correct instructions, hearing loss can occur. Genetic hearing loss may be caused by changes in the genes, known as gene variants, which affect how the ears work. There's thought to be hundreds of types of genetic hearing loss affecting different genes and different cells in the ear. The only way to confirm the cause of hearing loss is through genetic testing. Genetic testing, along with current standard tests, may allow for more personalized care and help inform the choice of hearing aid, cochlear implant, use of sign language, and other forms of visual communication, or a gene therapy. Human beings develop the majority of their language skills by age three, so it is important that people are informed about their options to maximize the primary years of language development, may it be listening and spoken, or any form of visual or sign language. Gene therapy is a new potential treatment for hearing loss. These therapies are generally developed to address the underlying genetic cause of a condition. In this case, it may help enable or preserve hearing capabilities. Because the genetic causes of hearing loss vary, each genetic variant is likely to require development of its own unique therapy, meaning a single gene therapy will not treat all types of genetic hearing loss. An example of a gene therapy approach being studied for hearing loss seeks to correct a non-working otopherlin gene, or OTOF gene for short. This gene produces otopherlin protein, which is key for sounds to be transmitted from the ear to the brain. Gene therapy uses a modified virus called a viral vector to deliver a working copy of the OTOF gene to the inner ear. There are several different surgical procedures that are being investigated with the common goal of delivering the gene therapy directly to the inner ear. Scientists know that viruses are good at getting into cells, so they have learned how to remove the harmful parts of the virus so only the working genes are delivered. Once in the cells of the inner ear, the working OTOF gene may help restore proper production of the otopherlin protein that was lacking within these cells with the goal of enabling hearing capabilities. Children with a cochlear implant in both ears may not be eligible to receive a gene therapy. However, research will continue to evolve. The decision to explore potential treatment options for hearing loss is an individual or family decision. While scientists have worked for many years to develop gene-based therapies for several types of genetic hearing loss, it is important to understand that gene therapy must be researched in clinical trials to determine if it is safe and effective. For more information about gene therapy for genetic hearing loss, visit patienteducation.asgct.org.